Well, welcome once again to I'm the Good Thing, the podcast. This is the place where we unpack life wisdom. We pray, we affirm, and most of all, we discover our true beauty, our worth, and our power. I'm Denise Taylor, and I'm all about helping women build a life they love. And that begins with us believing everything good about who God created us to be. Now, this is the place where we get energized in a God kind of way as we see ourselves the way God sees us. And let me tell you, sis, you are are good. Now, our life wisdom for today is this. If you feel overwhelmed, be patient with yourself. You're being impacted by an amazing transition that's about to happen. And I can so resonate with that whole perspective of being overwhelmed. You know, as you are going through quote unquote, the process, it can disrupt everything that you knew, everything that was comfortable, everything that you might have even taken confidence in can be disrupted. You can feel like you need to hurry through and get things settled again quickly. But here's what I will say. Allow yourself to go through the experience of becoming, especially when you are aligned with God. You see, the divine assignment that he has for your life is absolutely for your good. And when you are partnering with him so that you can accomplish what he is allowing to have happen in your life, you got to trust God in that process. So here's my nugget. With the overall assumption that you are doing what God has called you to do, is I do indeed want you to trust the process that God is taking you through. It is to perfect you. It is to allow you to have the best come out. It is to prepare you to be able to accomplish and be what's necessary for your assignment. The second thing is I want you to learn in the process. Boy, is it ever revealing. Will you ever learn a lot about yourself, especially when patience is what needs to be demanded? We often hear don't pray for patience because it is a trying season. And I will say that's true about going through your godly process. As God is grooming you, you're going to learn things about yourself and you're going to have to go face to face with whether or not you are going to yield to what he needs from you so that he can do the great work through you. And then finally, I want you to get hungry, hungry for where he is taking you. You see, one of the most compelling stories in the Bible is when Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane and he was facing crucifixion. He knew everything about the human experience that would happen during that time. And even though that process demanded so much from him physically, he kept his eyes on the prize. He was able to navigate through that because he knew on the other side, he was going to become the savior, the redeeming savior that we needed. And so as you are navigating your experience and you know that you have God to lean on because you're doing the things that he has inspired you to do, you got to trust him in that process and you got to keep your eyes on the prize. Thanks for connecting with me today. And if this was a help to you, apply what stood out most to your life. If you loved it, subscribe so that you can meet me here next time. And if you were moved, then share this with someone else. Keep seeing yourself the way God sees you. After all, you are the good thing. Visit my website, imthegoodthing.com for all sorts of good stuff. And I'll see you next time.